Well, it is early June and Lacey and I have made it to the Wind River Range. We've got a short trip. We're only doing like three, three and a half miles today. We're going to uh, up into the Green River Lakes uh, Valley, doing some fishing and uh, yeah, maybe some exploring, but uh, valley's clear of snow. Up high still has plenty of snow, so uh, should be a pretty relaxing and laid back trip. Uh, probably not the smartest thing to do because in a few weeks we hit the Sierra and we really got to get into gear for fitness for uh, that trip. That's going to be a butt kicker. But uh, anyway, here we are though, Wind River Range. It's our first trail junction. We're gonna head to Three Forks Park. Well, we've made it to the upper lake. Got here pretty quick. Uh, looks like we're gonna have a great backdrop for this evening. Really impressive. Really big lake too. It seems the further we work our way around the lake in this direction, the views are actually getting better. Big fish just jumped center camera a few seconds ago. Well, I'd say it looks like we found camp. Not a bad view either. Nope, this is my second cast. Got a duck army out there. Well, the day's wrapping up for day number one. We got an amazing sun. So it's a really, really good alpine glow right now. Uh, square top, 
This top is lit up and whatever this guy is, is lit up pretty good, absolutely gorgeous. I've fished a bit, no luck there. Tons jumping, tried pretty much everything in our tackle and got nothing. Uh, so collected firewood, we're gonna have a campfire tonight and uh, get up nice and early and uh, try again. And if there's no luck here, we're gonna keep our camp here and then just day trip to check out another lake because I'm unsure what lakes here are thought out or not because last photos I've seen on that little satellite photo app, a lot of it was still snow covered, but that was also a few days ago and we just had a few consecutive 80 degree days. So could have thought out, could have not, but yeah, anyways, uh, I'm gonna get back to enjoying this view. It is day two, and uh, check out how much the water level rose from the snow melt. All this grass here, we were able to walk in yesterday. Now it is uh, under like two inches of water. But today we're gonna attempt Lone Eagle Summit, which is uh, behind this guy here. So there may be too much snow, but we're gonna give it a try anyways. And our, I think our path access is gonna be over this way. You could see this open grassy slopes here. And there's a third one right here. We're gonna walk up that to this guy. Then it should be pretty mellow. Walk in the top of this. And it looks mostly snow free along the edges here. We just walked through a bunch of downfall, starting to get some views. Actually a pretty sweet waterfall over there. I found this game trail by sheep or goats or something or deer that's uh, making this ascent a bit easier. So we made it to about 9,000 feet. 
And our next step, thought we were done with downfall, but we weren't. Just got through a bunch of downfall. I think we're gonna follow this ramp up into here. Maybe there's a way up around this cliffy rock face. So Lacey and I just made it on the ridge and we got some amazing views right now. A lot less snow than the satellite image showed. Like this valley I'm filming right now, three days ago had a bunch of snow in it and it's gone now. I guess that's what, oh, three consecutive days of 80 degree weather will do. Right here we possibly one of the prettiest valleys I've seen in a long time. And if you look right there, there's the natural bridge. I'll put the name in below. But the river goes under that land formation there. And it comes up from a lake that's in this Lord of the Rings style canyon up in there. It's an absolutely stunning valley. So our next objective will be getting up on this guy. This is not the summit. This is one of the high points of the mountain, though. Or one of the peaks, as you would call it. So we get there, then reassess uh, to see where we're at. It's like there's some snow, not a lot. Don't know how steep those slopes are. Uh, look pretty mellow from here. But we don't have crampons or ice axes, so any steep snow slopes we're going to try and avoid. Boy, do I love the Wind River Range, damn. So we've been running into a lot of snow like this and it's up to our waist and even deeper in some spots that it's not compact at all. We've just been sinking and uh, it's starting to go into a scree field with it and we got a ways to go to the actual summit which is right here. One of the high points 
is this guy right here. But I think this is gonna be our turnaround point. We don't have any snowshoes to get through this and uh, don't exactly have the time to commit to a whole day of post holing there and back. We only brought one bottle of water for this day trip and it's almost out so I think we're gonna relax here. It's got a good view and uh, we're gonna start heading back to camp. Well, this is absolutely beautiful. Lake snare heading back down. Uh, getting some very nasty gusts of wind, like blow you over almost nasty. So, uh, yeah, it took a while for the Wind River Range to bring the wind in, but uh, it's here now. <laughs> It's good that we decided to turn around when we did because we just made it to the tree line and these cranky clouds started to come over. I haven't heard any thunder booms yet, but at, uh, off in the direction of the Tetons, it doesn't look too good. We are almost down. Taking a different way to try and avoid being stuck in downfall if high winds and thunder and lightning start coming down on us. Clouds still don't look any better. Felt a few raindrops on and off. All right, so you're thinking, uh, Andrew, you're not in the Wind River Range. Uh, what happened to going back to camp? Well, we came back to camp and uh, I think someone vandalized our stuff. They tried to make it look like a bear, but uh, we all know bears make very precise knife cuts around air pad air valves, our air pads are both of our air pads and our rain fly and the zipper was cut out in one of the tent, but those are the only things damaged. Our shitty sleeping bags where if I sit up too quick in them, they tear, we're untouched or damaged. Uh, they're, this air pads are under everything, just it's very weird items were destroyed when we got back to camp and the weirdest part, there's nothing scattered around the camp and uh, all of our scented items were in our ursac, and the ursac was untouched. It wasn't pulled on, no bite marks, no slobber, nothing. So yeah, a little vandalization. So, um, yeah. So I assume we camped in someone's private, uh, not private, uh, one of their special places. Uh, it's not a really hard place to find. It's in the Green River Lakes, which is very crowded. But because they vandalized half a grand of gear, I'm gonna put in the video description below the coordinates to that camp and uh, how to get there on Cal Topo. So uh, that's that, and thank you for watching. Uh, we're gonna get down now. There's big thunder booms off in the distance from this summit, and uh, yeah, that's a wrap. Here's a view from the summit. Got some thunder booms over there. We're gonna have to start retreating down in a second. One of my favorite mountain ranges, hands down. Pan back the other way. Show you drop off we're on.
Got up here just in time.